Hey, I'm Jonathan Diaz, registered dietitian working with patients on dialysis. And today's video, I will be focusing on foods to have during an emergency when you are left without dialysis because natural disasters occur all the time and they're unpredictable, right? From earthquakes to floods to uh, tsunamis, all of these things will result in a lack of electricity, food in some way, gas and some type of power right so when we're out of these resources uh, people tend to we all tend to go and flock to the grocery stores and look for food well what happens <laughs> well we all see what happens long lines inside there'll be long lines to get into the grocery stores and once you get to the grocery store and you're inside just nothing left it's like we all the you know, people came in like a bunch of locusts and we just whoosh, took all the resources and left with nothing behind so for those on dialysis, it's important to have a bin. So what I'll be going over, it's important to have a bin. It's important to have a bin at home filled with foods that will not expire so quickly. Again, this is emergency food list. It's not something to have every day, though you can. It's important to not touch these foods because you don't know when the next natural disaster will strike. Now, so we'll go over the five categories and uh, or four to five. I listed them as protein, fruits and vegetables, I combine them both, grains, condiments, and um, like little snacks, and fluids. So these things are important to have just because on the days that you don't have dialysis, it's important to have these things, or food in general. We need food, and we do not want you to starve while you are going on days without dialysis. As you already know, if you go on without dialysis, you start to swell, you start feeling shortness of breath. So in order to minimize all those symptoms, food will be very important, very, very important. Depending on what you put in your body will make you feel worse or make you feel better. If you're on dialysis, you know exactly what I mean. Let's go over the category, protein. Protein, protein, protein. What can you have for protein? Number one, canned tuna, packets of tuna, chicken of the sea. Low sodium, of course, no, no to low salt. Next topic or the next um, food item is Nepro and Novosource. What's important about these two items, you'll get them on discount or you get them at discounted kind of price through your dietitian at your dialysis center. So ask your dietitian how to apply or at least give you the coupon for Nepro and Novosource. And then of course, in that bin have, we don't recommend it, but it's good to have, evaporated canned milk. Why? Because again, it's an emergency. There are times that you're going to need it. Uh, next category will be my favorite because I'm a dietitian and this is my natural candy. Fruits. Fruits. So what kind of fruits? Because all fruits go bad, right? But go for canned. Canned pineapple, canned pears, uh, cherries, of course, that come in uh, jars and anything um, that uh, comes in cups. Oh, duh, fruit cocktails, fruit cocktails. And I'm not talking about drink cocktails. I'm, I'm talking about fruit cocktails. And on top of fruit cocktails, also applesauce, because applesauce is still a form of, again, energy, calories. Um, now you have diabetes, be careful with the fruits. They will cause your sugars to go up, but know that you can have them. And uh, within the vegetable category, not much. I mean, there are canned uh, green beans, so go for those. Next category are the grains. Mm. Carbohydrates. More, 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 more. Love carbs. Of course, be aware if you have diabetes, be careful with the grains as well, but you can definitely have them. So if, so grains, bread. Uh, loaves of bread, try to keep one or two in your, in your refrigerator. They take quite a while for them to go bad. So when you, t when you need them, you can use them. Other grains, so graham crackers, animal crackers, vanilla wafers. Whew. I feel my belly with those delicious crackers and with some tea. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I get excited. Um, oh, duh. Soda crackers. Soda crackers, unsalted, of course. Oh, next. Cereals, 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 cereals. Cereals are good to have as well. Kicks, Rice Krispies, and uh, cornflakes. So I have those things in your, in your box. And those usually take a while for it to go stale anyway. So add those in there. Next category, fluids. Fluids, of course, be very, very, very careful with how much you consume with fluids. 
the maximum is 16 ounces, which is eight ounce, eight ounce, 16. The size of two fists full of fluids a day. So no more than two fists full sizes of fluids a day. That includes ice, jello, uh, ice cream, f uh, smoothies, and any type of fluids, even soups. All that is included, has to be restricted. Why am I smiling? It's not something funny. <laughs> This sucks. So please re re refrain from drinking that much fluid, please. And then, uh, of course, we have the condiments. With the condiments uh, and like little snacks, so candy, like jelly beans, Jolly Ranchers. Those things are good to have. Um, and other condiments would be like jams, jelly, honey. Condiments, like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of these, but you don't know when you need them. Ketchup, mustard, mayo. Ketchup, mustard, mayo. Pah, bam. <clears throat> and peanut butter. So include peanut butter. Put that peanut butter in your in your in your bin. Now we don't. I don't recommend peanut butter because of potassium. Again, it's an emergency. It's only if you drastically, desperately need it because you're out of food. Keep it in there. So just keep it in there. And that's it. That's it for the foods. That is it. That's all I got. Uh, of course, do I, some extra stuff you can add in your bin would be like a little gas-powered stove. So uh, a, a stove that requires a little bit of propane, like on the side, that's good to have. You don't know if your stove inside your home will be working. And of course, have some type of system to, fl system to clean water, whether it's like the straws that help filter and purify water to a Brita, uh, the jugs. So it's nice to have those things just in case your water bottles in your bin run out because it happens. And uh, oh yes, of course, those who hunt your food, those who have your guns and your bow and arrows, kudos to you guys. Seriously, I'm glad you guys can do it. But us city folks, or I can speak for myself, how I go hunting is waiting in line. <laughs> I wait in long lines to get my food um, or short lines depending on the time of day. All right, everybody, that's my list. Uh, I will put the PDF on my Facebook page. Check out the link to my in my descriptions or the about section of my page and you'll find my YouTube uh, Facebook link, excuse me. Now, if there's anything I missed, please leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if I miss anything or it's something you think I should include, let me know. Thank you. Have a great week and stay safe.